YouTube, what is going on guys? It's Atticus here from Red Face Gaming. Welcome Red Face fam. Welcome back to the channel. So today guys, we got the New World update, patch 1.0.2. Alright, and so uh, the update is going to go live uh, tomorrow at 3 a.m. So if you're on Pacific Time, it's 3 a.m. Uh, October 13th. So yes, it's going to go live tomorrow, um, tomorrow morning, 3 a.m. Uh, let's see what here. Greetings, adventurers. This week's update brings in another swathe of bug fixes alongside laying additional groundwork for the upcoming server transfer feature. Uh, many members of our team are still working tirelessly to ensuring everyone can find a world to call their long-term home with the character transfer feature. We'll have more info. Yada, yada, yada. All right, faction missions. Uh, reduce the amount of influence increase over time significantly for attacking factions. Okay. Uh, this is to account for a bug we found where the increase was multi multiplied much faster than intended over time. Okay, so that definitely needed to happen. That was a problem. Uh, remove the decrease in influence over time for defending factions. Okay, that's, uh, that's a more balanced system right there. Um, general bug fixes. Let's see what we got going on over here. Uh, what'd you do, Amazon? Fix an issue where players could respawn as a corpse. That's, uh, I never saw that happen. Uh, fiction issue where the tier 3 fishing treasure chest wouldn't fight back after being hooked. Alright, so it makes more sense as to why I've seen so many bot players fishing. Um, hopefully that addresses that and that's what that's for. Uh, fixed various, various localization issues and text fields. Uh, fixed an issue causing players kick, suspended, banned, or removed from the game by easy anti cheat to receive unclear communication. And additional messaging has been added so players can be better understand the penalty they received. So I'm assuming people were getting banned or kicked from saying something that wasn't vulgar, but the anti cheat system caught it or something like that. Uh, fix an issue causing territory influence to be reset after an invasion. Okay, fix an issue where players attempted to take a split amount of stacked items from a different settlement. So in fact, faction owns, they were charged for the entire cost of the items in the stack. Damn, that sucks. Uh, fix the game crash caused by a player targeting another player with a healing effect at the exact moment they fast traveled or teleported away. Um, haven't heard of that, haven't seen that. Fix an issue reducing variety and potential quantity of loot obtained from game modes and chests within the world. Okay. Why? Reducing variety and potential quantity of loot obtained from game modes and chests within the world so now we're going to get less and worse loot okay as if getting gear that's specifically for our classless character wasn't hard enough um fix an issue causing some crafting bonuses to not provide the minimum intended values all right that's a bonus uh fix an issue where overflow items and storage transfer to a different territory uh okay um Barkimedes, okay, I, this one I do know of. The Barkimedes caused the camera to jitter. I'm glad that's getting fixed because that, like, would give you astigmatism or, like, a stroke or something. Fis fix an issue causing the ice pylon ability to not cool down appropriately. All right, I did hear about that one. You know, people having to, like, kill themselves off to get it to fix. Uh, fix an issue where settlement storage can become massively overflowed by expired contracts. Well, okay, then. Um, fix an issue where player's movement could stutter after becoming encumbered from logging. Okay, so <laughs> I saw this in game. <laughs> Sorry. This was super funny to watch because um, I would see players and they would be like skipping super fast like through the hilly areas or whatever after logging. And I died, have no idea what that was from. But I'm, if I can assume anything, it's that. That's actually pretty funny. Fix an issue where there were not enough chests at Hapless Homestead to fulfill faction quest requirements. Thank you. Um, randomly teleport. Yeah, that sucked. Fix an issue where players disappear standing still in a campsite. Turret blueprint is being held. Okay. Um, repeater turrets to appear as if they were firing <laughs> projectiles at an angle that did not align with the turret. Okay. Miscellaneous game crashes. Uh, fix an issue where Mahjah responds slower than intended at Flatfish fac Fishery. Awesome. Fix an issue causing certain bears to respond faster all right so lodestone bear cave is gone sorry guys lodestone is gone uh boars to spawn at boar's home all right boar's home's gone too so um by it's 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. Y'all got like six and a half, seven hours from the time this video airs to my channel to continue to do the boar farm or the lodestone bear cave farm to get to 200 skinning or you're done and you have to do it the hard way. Um, store issues, I don't really care about these. Fix an issue where righteous guardian armor skin would not change color in war. Okay, who cares? That's just Amazon pocketing money store crap no one cares about. Um, Alright, well, overall that's not an impressive update. They're not fixing the abandoned uh, area or whatever for the the corruption zones that's still a problem they're not fixing compasses there's honestly they're not fixing nodes or plants that on the compass say they're there but you go over there and there's nothing there and in order to get it you either have to log out or um, a quicker way would be to use the unstuck button um, sometimes but generally you have to log out log back in just to get that node and that's that's time consuming that's stupid it's a race we're in a race all right we want to hit 60 we want to do end game stuff and all that so this is basically what Amazon is giving us uh, for patch 1.0.2 goes live tomorrow 3 a.m. guys uh, you heard it here or you heard it somewhere else first uh, take it into consideration to get everything you need to do done now with the lodestone and boar's home um, whether it's skinning or just getting ingredients whatever whatever it is guys taking a the uh, the instant farm for the vials of suspended azoth from the bear cave is what I used to farm for uh, for gold and so that's going to be gone so now we're gonna have to chop that out of here but regardless it's not that bad some good some bad oh well we can't expect much but we can hope for the best right hope for the best prepare for the worst whatever I love the game I enjoy it so far so uh, alright guys Thank you for stopping by and coming to my little RPG rant about the new patch. And uh, yeah, so I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces, guys. Have a great night.